Let's ignore my objectives for now. I need a full set of tools. I get most of what I need from public tool storage, but I still need a multi-tool. I evolve advanced eyesight to observe that engineering tech storage is also looted for its multi-tools and insulated gloves. I go to cargo to print the multi-tool from the auto lathe and ask the AI to let me in. The AI ignores me, so I move on. I decide to pick out the rest of my changeling abilities. Of course, the arm blade. How do you play changeling without the iconic arm blade? Mute sting. This stings people, and they don't even realize it until they try to talk, but no words come out. An absolute essential for my ultimate goal. Adrenaline sacks. If security ever hits me with their stun batons, this is my get out of break free card. Lesser form. This is plan A if I ever end up in cuffs. Last resort. This is plan B if plan A doesn't work. Most of my powers are just fail safes to get out alive if I get caught. My objectives are to obtain seven genomes, steal a sliver of the supermatter crystal, assassinate Chip Fisher, the research director, and escape stealing a chemist's identity. The first objective is child's play, however the other three are considerably harder with my current disguise. As an outsider invading this society, I have made some observations about the social hierarchy. At the very bottom are clowns, but just above that are the assistants, constantly fighting each other and getting abused by higher ranking individuals. The individuals with the most capacity to abuse those below them are the security faction, equipped with tools to disarm their victims with ease. If I try to do my objectives as an assistant, I would surely fall victim to the security faction. If I became security, I would be able to stun those in my way, but I would raise a few eyebrows. But if I became captain, the apex predator of this social hierarchy, I would be able to achieve all of my objectives without resistance. However, I must do this with absolute stealth because the employees of Nanotracen don't like their leader being replaced by an imposter. For now, I am getting more gear to increase my chances of success. I notice that the door for atmospherics has been hacked open and nab an engineering encryption key and insert it into my headset. It's not much, but every bit of intel is key to my stealth and survival. I also finally get a multi-tool from here. My first self-appointed promotion will be to security guard. However, to be a security guard, you can have the glasses, armor, and stun baton, but if you don't have a mind shield, you'll be instantly outed as a fraud. The easiest way to get mind shields is to steal them from the head of security's locker. Right as I'm about to start the heist, the head of security rushes into his room. I pause and observe, waiting for him to leave. He rushes into his locker and hides in there for a few minutes. I don't know if he had a sudden case of space sleep disorder or if he just needed a cry break, but I patiently wait for him to leave. When the head of security gets out of his locker, I confirm that the mind shields are in fact in his locker. He even leaves his locker open, making the heist way easier. I prepare the heist. I take off my clothes and morph into a released prisoner because if I get caught, it's better if someone else takes the fall. I also create a crude barrier between myself and the door so my stuff isn't so easily accessible. I'm shrouded in darkness anyways, I doubt someone is going to mindlessly walk in and ruin everything. I begin deconstructing the reinforced wall. I don't completely destroy it, instead making a false wall so I can easily come in again if I need to, and leave no seeable evidence that I was actually here in the first place. Once I'm in, I steal everything an aspiring shit sec would need to start the job and get an encryption key for a head of security. Knowledge is power. After the successful heist, I stash the security belt and mind shields, and I keep the disabler and stun baton on me. I emerge out of maintenance as Agent Sherlington, 
my original disguise because I have one more thing I need to do. As far as I know, the only way to open a lockbox is either the right ID or an EMAG. I don't have access to an EMAG, so I need to obtain a security ID. I go to genetics and get telekinesis. Then I go to the head of personnel's office to check if his console is logged in. It's not technically logged in, but the ID got left in there, so basically it is. I hack into the head of personnel's office and make a security ID and a head of security ID. I make sure to carefully match the name of my security ID to its real owner with no typos, so I can use it on my disguise later. I go back to my mate's hiding spot near security and put on my perfect disguise. The only flaw is that I can't be in the same place as Brock or else my cover as a changeling will be blown. If I rise to get my disguise on, a multi-tool gets thrown into my plan. Nuclear operatives. For a few moments, I do nothing as the realization that shit's about to hit the fan sinks in. After security freaks out about Nukies, I make my move and quickly stun one from behind. I attempt to cuff him, but the other operative keeps up the pressure with his double E sword. In the midst of fighting, I forget to stun the other Nuki again, and he gets back up. Now I'm in the middle of a war between Nano Trace and the Syndicate. I'm quickly losing blood, so I fake my death to regenerate my health. While I'm on the ground, I weigh my options. When I get back up, do I fight the Nukies or try to get my objectives done in the middle of this chaos? Well, bullets hurt, and I want my revenge, so I choose to fight. When I wake up, I stay down and take out my stun baton and wait for a good opportunity to get the jump on them. I get impatient though, and get up and rush one of the operatives who's trying to hack out of security. This is the gun guy, not the double E sword guy. He's out of ammo, now's my chance. He reloads and starts firing at me. It's at this moment I realize, hold on. I'm a changeling who has self-regeneration. Why am I scared of getting shot? I tank three bullets to the chest, but manage to stun him before I go down. He uses his explosive implant, which does minimal damage. One new key down. I get his night vision health HUD goggles, the best glasses in my opinion, and go get healed. The shuttle has been called and is about to arrive. I haven't even completed one of my objectives yet, so I go to bridge and try to recall the shuttle. No dice, it's too late to recall the shuttle. Well, time to speedrun my objectives. I go to engineering, put on anti-radiation gear, and the chief engineer's mag boots. I get a sliver of the supermatter engine, and almost die because I forget to put on internals. But no big deal, I still get out of there alive. By the time I'm done with that, the emergency shuttle has docked with the station, and they're trying to do an early launch. I rush to the emergency shuttle. The shuttle is complete chaos as usual, so using the chaos as a disguise, I get the rest of the genomes that I need. I look for the research director, and while I don't get confirmation that it's him, some dead person is wearing the research director's mod suit, so just to be safe, I throw them out of an airlock. 
This is met with some minor protest. I looked at the chemist, but I don't see him. Oh well, I completed most of my objectives, and given the circumstances, I think that's pretty good.